when to use global keys in Flutter. Simply pass the global key into a stateful widget to which you want to have access. Therefore, the stateful widget also needs to have a constructor where the key is going inside to the supper constructor. And now the global key can access the state of the stateful widget, so we can access the counter state and also all methods and therefore simply copy the state name and then put it after the global key inside. And now we can use this global key to access the state of our stateful widget. So in our case, we want to access the counter and also the method increment that increments the counter by five. So let's go up and access the increment method and also the counter. With this, if we click on this floating action button, the counter is incremented by five and we also print it to the console. Notice if you want to access a stateful widget inside of a separate file, then the state of the stateful widget cannot be private. So right now the state is private with this underscore. So make sure that you have no underscore and then you can also access it with the help of the global key. Also, you cannot access private methods and private state of this state class in this other file. So make sure that the state and also the method are publicly available to access it. And then you can also access it with this global key again. Next, we want to create a form where the user can enter his email and name. And we also have some validation. For this, we have this form widget inside the Flutter SDK, which is a stateful widget. And the state for widget also has a state below this form state and you see it is publicly available so we can access it. Therefore, simply create a global key with this form state that you want to access. And secondly, you need to put this form key into the form widget that you want to access. And lastly, we use this form key to access the form state. Therefore, we go into another method and then we access the current state of our form. And here you can then access, for example, the validate method that is inside of this form class. With this, if we click on the submit button, the submit method is called and we also call this form validate method. And this form is then validated. So we go up to our form widget and we validate our both text form fields that we have here inside. And in each text form field, we have a validator property, which is then called with the validator method. And here inside we check then if our field is empty, then we display the error message enter a name. Or if our email is not containing this add symbol, then we display the error message enter a valid email. Since we have in this case two error messages in our UI, we did go into the else case of our form validation and the form is not valid. And once we enter a valid name and valid email and then we click on the submit button, then we go into this case that our form is valid. And with this, you have learned how to use a global key if you want to access the state of stateful widgets. Mm -hmm.